हाय एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो फ्रेंड्स प्रैक्टिकली आफ्टर दिस सेशन चैप्टर टू इज ओवर एंड वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ क्यूज ऑन चैप्टर टू आफ्टर वन मोर वीडियो एज द टॉपिक्स दैट आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो इज रिलेटेड टू चैप्टर टू ओके ऑल दो इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ चैप्टर टी चैप्टर थ्री अकॉर्डिंग टू करिकुलम बट uh it is related to chapter 2 so i will discuss it as a part of chapter 2 only then we have will have a quiz combined for chapter 2 okay so let's start our today session so our today agenda is types of communication wireless network topologies so uh the first part types of communication you all uh, i hope you all are already very well aware but i i included this part uh so that we should have a clear understanding when we say simplex half duplex what is full duplex communication so i uh, included this part and then later on we will discuss on wireless network topologies okay so let's start our today session so what is simplex communication so there are major three types of communication one is simplex other is half duplex and third is full duplex so simplex communication is a communication in which a device a single device is capable of only transmitting or either receiving so not both functions are available on a device it can either transmit or receive the very good example of simplex communication is fm radios okay so in fm radio the radio uh, that radio servers are able to transmit only and our devices which are installed at our computers laptop handsets or in your cars they are capable of receiving only you can't transmit so simplex uh, fm radios are the best example of simplex communication so let's have a look how simplex communication happen so it's a one way transmission only so it's not possible to both transmit and receive by the same device now second is half duplex communication so all the major rf communications are half duplex only even r802.11 uh, communication standards are half duplex okay so in half duplex device is capable of both transmitting and receiving but both functions are not available at the same time so at one at a point it can only transmit or either receive not both the functions are available at the same time so in half duplex communication both devices are capable of transmitting and receiving however at a point of time only one device can transmit okay so let's have a look so walkie talkie is uh, the best example of half duplex communication so you can see the this is acting as transmitter first and this is acting as receiver so this receiver can't be act as transmitter at the same time however when this receiver act as a transmitter then this uh, transmitter act as a receiver as well so both the functionalities are available but not at the same time this is known as a half duplex communication and the third is simplex uh, sorry full duplex communication in this type of communication transmitting and receiving both are available on a device and it can happen at the same time so 802.3 based communication standard based communications are generally full duplex based communications so it is transmit act as a transmitter and receiver at the same time okay so uh, it to deploy a full de duplex communication system generally how it is deployed there are two separate channels one channel for transmitting and other is for receiving so this is the best way of deploying a full duplex communication system okay so this is all about the uh, type of communications now let's move to the uh, wireless topologies although our concentration is on wlan or 802.11 but in order to understand 802.11 or wlan you must have a clear idea about wireless topologies what all topologies we have in a wireless technology so it is categorized into a uh, four types okay the very first is wireless wider area network okay a network which traverses an entire state 
region or country or even span worldwide is known as wireless wide area network so when your network deployed network span over a larger area or wider area which includes a wider so you can say that one complete state or one complete uh, country then you can call it as a wireless network uh, wireless uh, wider area network okay a wireless wide area network also covers broad ge geographical boundaries but obviously uses a wireless medium instead of a wired medium okay so this is an example of wireless wide area network the very good example of wwn is uh, internet so internet is the best example of wwn type of network topology okay next one is wman wireless metropolitan area network so when your uh, network covers a wider area but not that much wider as compared to wwn like a city uh, like uh, and it covers uh, up to the area of a city or some suburb then it is known as wireless metropolitan area network okay one wireless tech, uh, technology that is often associated with the wman is defined by 802.16 standard this standard defines broadband wireless access and is sometimes referred to as worldwide interoperability for microwave access wimax so wimax is very much near to the wman so it's uh, uh, this wman and wimax is interchangeably used terminologies when we say that example of a wman okay so this is one example of wman based network so friends uh, when we are saying that wman wman it's uh, just a uh, terminologies when we are deploying a network but in actual when we say that wman or wman internally it is quite possible that we are using a 802.11 standard which combinedly forms a bigger network and then act as a wman or wlan so it is not mandate that you can't use 802.11 within this network topologies okay or mostly now now these days like smart cities are happening which is part of wman although but it is using only 802.11 based standards and uh, devices to make the uh, city wide networks okay and then third type is wpan wireless personal area network so it's a wireless computer network used for communication between computer devices within the close pro uh, close proximity of a user so bluetooth and uh, infrared based communication is generally considered to be as wpan so bluetooth based communication with your handset with your earphone with your laptop it comes under the wpan based of network topologies so the ieee 802.15 working group focus on technologies used by wpan such as bluetooth and zigbee so zigbee is another rf technology that is again a small technology which communicates in a up to a distance of a 10 meter or something uh, and used in uh, iot based networks okay so this is example of WPAN based network topology. So this one computer connected to multiple devices through a blue Bluetooth, okay, or either infrared train. Now the major and the fourth type of network topology is WLAN. So wireless network topology, uh, WLAN is considered as wireless local area network. So network used in offices, buildings, or campuses is known as WLAN based network. So local area network provides networking for a building, a campus environment. The 802.11 wireless medium is a perfect fit for local area networking simply because of the range and speed that are defined by 802.11-2012 standard and future amendments. The majority of 802.11 wireless network deployments are indeed LANs that provide access at businesses and homes. As I said earlier also, so it is not mandated that 802.11 devices will be used in WNAN based network. So in today's deployment, it is quite used in WMAN, w, uh, WWN. Okay, so in multiple network topology, you can uh, use 802.11 based wireless medium and uh, devices. So you can use and it's already getting used these days. So this is one example of WLAN based network topology. 
so friends we are done with our today session i kept it small uh, small session because these are the basics of then in next uh, session we will discuss on 802.11 topologies so right now we discuss about wireless network topologies then we will uh, deep dig into the wlan part 802.11 network topologies only okay so now time for today's quiz which wireless topology provides city wide wireless coverage options are wman wlan wpan wan wlan what method of dialog communication is used within a 802.11 wlan is it a simplex communications half duplex communications full duplex communications or dual duplex communication okay so be ready with the answers we will discuss on the answers in our next session okay so thanks for today please don't forget to like share subscribe and comment on my video and in case if you have any doubt please feel free to share your uh, feedback in comment section i will definitely revert back to you okay thank you